These scenes have never been seen in Tel Aviv. Riot police break up a protest agreed in advance with authorities using crowd control tactics familiar to Palestinians in occupied territory. Certainly not familiar to Israelis in Tel Aviv. The protesters referenced the Israeli settler attack on Hawara. Last week, Israeli settlers carried out at least 300 attacks, including shootings, arson, and a rampage through Palestinian villages in the Nablus area of the occupied West Bank, including Hawara. Whilst these protests were more broadly about reforms to Israel's legal systems and not about the events in Hawara, Israeli police used tactics never been seen before, prompting the Prime Minister himself to address the nation. It's not allowed to beat up policemen. It's not allowed to disrupt the country's life or to block main roads. I understand that here there's someone who's looking to create anarchy, called Yer Lapid. Protesters angered by violence gathered at Netanyahu's home. I don't want to live in a dictatorship, that's all. I, we, we need to stay a democracy and what they're trying to do is uh, demolish their democracy. But Netanyahu is in no mood to give in. He's still pushing the changes to the Supreme Court that sparked these protests eight weeks ago. Determined they pass despite the hundreds of thousands of people who have come out on the streets in opposition to it. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Occupied East Jerusalem.